Master Adar of the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andraste herself delivered you from the fate. I'm not familiar with that name. I was invited here by First Enchanter Vivienne. Madame de Fer is a fond nickname the court has given Lady Vivienne. I've heard she finds it amusing. I've heard very little about Duke Bastien. He hasn't been seen much at court lately. His business with the Council of Heralds often takes him from home for long periods. It can't be good for a man of his years. And of course, there's the civil war. Bastien probably wishes to distance himself from the actions of his one-time son-in-law. Tearing up the tales in a foolish bid for power? It will end in disgrace for Gaspar. Everyone knows it. Everything you've heard? Completely true. Better and better. The Inquisition should attend more of these parties. The Inquisition? What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. That's not true. I'm just searching for divine Justinia's killer. Of course you are. I'm sure your army is out scouring the hills for her murderer as we speak. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? He insulted my honor. I want him dead. And this, Marquis, is why one must always be courteous to one's fellow guests. Someone be a dear and clean this mess up. We can't have him cluttering up the dance floor. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Mont-Simard and enchantress to the Imperial Court. Can you get away with killing a nobleman like that? He attempted to draw his weapon, unprovoked, in the presence of witnesses. Duels are not fought in the drawing room. By Chevalier Code, his life was forfeit from the moment his hand fell to his hilt. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction.
What exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the Circle at my disposal. And I am a mage of no small talent. Will that do? Is your interest in the Inquisition, Madame de Fair, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivienne. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. <laughs>